I know that sound. My man is hungover. And I can relate. I'm a little hungover myself. Hey guys, it's Frank Kellerich, a.k.a. The Wrecked Ranger, and we're playing the open world zombie survival game Seven Days to Die with the Darkness Falls Overhaul mod. Let's uh, pull ourselves together here. Okay, as far as uh, class, I'm going to go into mechanic because it uh, gets us the dirt bike early. And it also gets us into robotics, which will be important when the uh, hordes start getting kooky. Okay, I'm going to put my two initial skills into Pack Mule to help me carry all this junk around and Iron Gut so it'll help control my early hunger and thirst. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why is the editor of Modern Drunken Magazine playing a video game? Shouldn't I be in a dive bar drinking right now? Well, you're right, I should, and I will be doing that later, but... It's not mutually exclusive. And I am drinking. I'm drinking Evan Williams Black Label Bourbon on the Rocks, my old standby. I learned early on that drinking while playing video games adds to the dynamic of it. It makes it more exciting, more dramatic, and more fun like alcohol does for everything else. I'm not gonna go too much into the minute of this early hunter gathering. I think it'd be tedious for the experienced players, and if you're not experienced, well, just quietly observe the master at work. That's how you really learn, right? Rather than having something explained to you. And I don't want you to be distracted from the shocking transformation that's gonna happen over the next hour or so. Something that has only been seen roughly 10,000 times in various bars, households, and clubs around the world. You see, my people hail from the North Sea, and we are a grim and stoic tribe, possessed of the true sang froid. However, my tribal ancestors discovered a long time ago that if we put alcohol under our bloodstream, we undergo a sea change, a North Sea change, if you will. We become gregarious and loquacious and expansive. We say, hell, why try to coax these potatoes from the frozen earth when we can just visit our neighbors and see if they're having a party? And if they're not having a party, maybe we can force them to have a party. And I hope you uh, poured yourself a drink uh, as well so we can experience this transformation together. Now, you may have noticed we haven't run into any zombies yet, and that's because when you start the game, you're in this bubble of safety and kind of a dead zone. Uh, it gives you time to shake off your hangover and uh, get your act together and make some, uh, some basic weapons to fight. Uh, I'm not making anything besides a bow right now because I want to go down the machete path. And for machete, you need bones. And for bones, you need roadkill. And there's no roads uh, as yet that I've seen. But we'll get to that. We should be okay until then. We could outrun these zombies early on. You know, uh, I think some people, sometimes including myself, uh, would consider a zombie apocalypse or any kind of apocalypse as a chance for a fresh start, you know? You don't have to pay your mortgage or your rent or uh, pay anyone. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff because everything, you basically own the world. It's just you and a, you know, six billion or so monsters that are trying to uh, devour you. But if you can put that aside, all your workaday problems have gone away. All your interpersonal beefs and all the little things that make you worry every day, just gone. You just have to stay alive, find some food and not get devoured by all the monsters. It would be just a fresh, clean slate. Okay, let's bring our fancy new bow down and now we just need arrows. Now you notice I've been striking these rocks with my stone ax. It's not because I like that sound, though I do. It, uh, it it tests what's inside. Whatever resource uh, it gives you is what the rock and the vein underneath it has. So mostly in the green biome, the forest biome, it's going to be iron. You will occasionally find coal. Uh, very rarely you will find nitrate or lead. And if you do find them, you want to mark them on your map because uh, you want to come back to those and mine those later because all four of those are essential in making ammunition. And as the game goes, you're going to need a lot of ammunition. I see a wolf and a zombie up there. 
Maybe they'll fight. They will fight each other. And speaking of zombies, uh, a lot of YouTubers who play this game name the zombie types, whether it's the party girl or the cowboy or whatever. They give them specific names, uh, and we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to name them after the famous drunks of yesteryear. Uh, you know, Ernest Hemingway, Dorothy Parker, etc. I already have a few in mind. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go, who they resemble. And if you uh, disagree with my choices, go ahead and litigate in the comments and we can negotiate. If you have a better uh, idea than I do, I will be happy to change the name. We'll see. Another zombie. And there's the traitor. Looks like it's Jen, the medico, which is good. She's nice. And nice to look at. <laughs> okay, we found the road. And there are some bones. Okay, we're on our way to making a bone machete. Which uh, is a new weapon in this version of Darkness Falls. Some more bones. That should be enough. Oh, here's some more. Might as well grab some more. Okay, I'm gonna have to sacrifice an article of clothing to uh, for the cloth to finish making this thing. Let's... Our pants. Nobody cares. Nobody cares in zombie apocalypse if you have pants or not. See, they've already forgotten about me. They're like, oh, what? So what? He doesn't have pants. Okay, let's start with the name calling. Crazy blonde. That's gotta be Zelda Fitzgerald. And this brunette, that's that's Dorothy Parker, a famous critic and writer. You want to critique my bone machete there, buddy? Acid in a sandwich. Don't eat those sandwiches. They'll give you dysentery. Cold still chicken. Oh, eh, screw you. I'll live on tomatoes. Okay, well, let's go inside and see Jen. First, we'll take a look what's inside the car, and we have some more ladies. And who do we have here? Okay, statuesque blonde. Uh, I'm gonna say Veronica Lake. And that's gotta be Janice Joplin. No, Veronica Lake wouldn't be hanging with Janice Joplin. We're gonna say that's Joan Crawford. Two great uh, stars of the 40s and 50s who, hell of a drinkers. They could uh, they could outdrink a lot of the leading men of the day, and those guys were heavy drinkers. Hey, Jen, I know this is going to sound crazy, but there's a bunch of crazy people out there trying to bite people and eat them. And, well, I mean, what's going on? What should we call them? Should we call them biters or walkers? Or Don't you hate that? It's like in so many zombie movies, television shows, and books, it's like they pretend 50 years of zombie lore never existed. Hey, it looks like the chicken wants in. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, you doorbell ditched me. All right, I'll get you later. Okay, here's the scout. She's going to give us various missions, usually involve killing zombies. Later, it'll be uh, actually follow the storyline of uh, Darkness Falls. And she see what she's got to say. Okay, rice milk. No rice around, but we'll get eventually to the desert. How may I serve you? Well, uh, I need a job. Can you help me? Yeah. Oh, looks like I can really help you. You got a visitor here. Okay, these mass zombies. Uh, I'm not gonna name, name them yet. We'll use them as whatever zombies be famous drunks we can't use because they don't look like anybody. We'll figure that out and. Apply the name later, because right now, who can tell who this guy is? He's mysterious, the mysterious zombie. And he comes bearing water. And let me tell you something. If uh, if I see some guy biting some other guy on the street, my instant and first thought is, I'm in a zombie apocalypse. I better go get my guns and uh, get my kids out of school. I might be proven wrong later. It could just be some crazy dude biting some other dude, but. At that moment, I am in full zombie apocalypse mode. I'm not the least bit confused. 
All right, lots of uh, just general trash. Cobblestone and rocks, okay. Uh, whenever you find a trader, you want to sweep through and do all the looting uh, that you can. Here's where we're going to stay. We're going to stay in Mom's house. In Darkness Falls, you want to spend the first couple of days at the trader's. Uh, you want to stay close to where you can do the missions. It saves you a lot of running around a lot of the time. Then you can find yourself a nice studio apartment after a couple of days and start preparing for the, the seven-day hoard. And I don't want you looking to scans at me, rifling through her purse and digging through her stuff. This is a zombie apocalypse, man. This is these are tough times. Hey, that's a good one. That is a magazine extension mod. Once I find a gun, it's gonna add some bullets to it. Alright. Ah, so I'm gathering cloth. Ah, grill. Good. We'll throw that on the campfire. Uh start cooking up some of these vegetables and fruit we found in the forest. Boom. Okay, diplomas don't apply anymore. We're gonna clear some space out here, throw down some boxes. And let's load them up and get our act together. Okay, let's finish looting Z Jen's place. Boots, sell them. Boots, we'll sell those. We'll sell her back all her boots. Hey, we'll wear that. Put my helmet. Am I a checkered shirt kind of guy? Nah, I'm a t-shirt guy. Nope, don't need no turds. Cloth. You need cloth. Uh, you can make arrows with it and also uh, bandages. Okay, enough of this foreplay. Let's go see Jen. Hey, Jen, turn some lights on in here. It's freaking like a morgue. Look, look with the cat yeah, it's me. Your only customer. It's nothing. Grab that chair. Come on, baby. Ah, we'll sell it. Let's dig through the trash she has. How embarrassing is that? Walk into somebody's store and just start digging in the trash. <laughs> but like I said, zombie apocalypse, tough times, man. No shame. Always be grabbing cloth. Let's see what you got. We'll sell that, that, that. Uh, the only thing I'm really interested in buying or can afford right now is a cooking pot. There are only 91 uh, coin in this game as opposed to the vanilla, which is like some ridiculous thing, like six or 900 or something. I would love to buy that wrench. You get a wrench after you finish the first mechanic task, but uh, finishing that task without a wrench is a pain in the butt. You have to use your... Thanks for letting me take care of you. Stone axe, it's they just hack friend. at cars for like 10 minutes straight, which I have no patience for. So I'm not going to do I've that. I've got a bit of a problem. Do I'm hurry. i to find some I gas at that passing gas store. So we'll check it out. Okay, you always want to check these stumps because they'll have stuff in them, often ammunition. And you always want to uh, chop them up because they give you not only wood, but also a chance for honey. And honey is great if you get infected. I hear you. Okay, who do we got? This golden haired boy. This has got to be F. Scott Fitzgerald. Beautiful in the damned, right, F? All right, big bald guy. Aggressive? I'm gonna say Hunter S. Thompson. What's up, buddy? 
Fear and loathing in the zombie apocalypse, right? Okay, what's that shadow? All right, it's these freaking bees. They are a menace. They just kind of hover above you once they lock on and they just follow you around. And then when they attack, they don't make a sound. They are just suddenly there, right in your face. Okay, let's kick off this mission. Okay, this lady, this could be Janice Joplin. Trying to take a little piece of my heart, Janice. Uh, there's a redhead. That's gotta be Carson McCullough. Imagine whiskey is the fire. So, would it be harder to kill female zombies during the apocalypse? I think initially it would, uh, because of all the societal rules against, you know, hitting a woman. But I think after enough of them tried to bite you, it would become as easy, uh, ouch, as easy as rolling off a log. And female survivors, of course, would have no problem from the get-go because I worked in the corporate workplace. You girls are competitive. See, here's the great thing about the uh, using a bladed weapon is if you hit them right, they will start bleeding and you just run around tagging them and just watch them slowly bleed out. Ah, the visceral excitement of the unopened loot bag. Hey, somebody was packing. So we got a pipe rifle and a pipe uh, shotgun and some ammunition. Let's load them up. Use that salty dude. And another one. Let's bring some stuff down. If you bring the stuff down into your tool belt, it won't uh, burden you as much. There's that B. All right, looks like we got another hunter up here. Let's put the other task on our compass here. Hey, Hunter. Hey, buddy. You know, Carson said the heart is a lonely hunter. Is it true? Do you feel lonely? Just lay down. There we go. That freaking bee, he's going to haunt us. That building looks familiar. We'll check some mailboxes because that's where you find uh, books. Let's go ahead and put the uh, trader on the compass as well so we know how far away we are. Because we're going to be looking for a house, a place to move into. But we want to be close. Okay, construction worker. I thought about this, a famous construction worker who was a tremendous drunkard, and it's got to be Ronnie Briggs. He was one of the perpetrators of the great train robbery in England, and uh, he escaped from prison and spent uh, most of the rest of his life in, uh, in exile. Back in England, he was considered something of a folk hero. He was a cool dude. He, uh, he was so cool that the Sex Pistols flew out to hang out with him. I think he was on one of their albums. And in my book, that is pretty cool. Now, you always want to check these Mo Power uh, electrical trucks because there's a possibility you will get a turret. Nope. Oh, oh my God. That's a crack of book. Okay, I'm going to put a point immediately into Quality Joe because this will increase our loot level because you want to go into these things with as high as loot level as possible because otherwise you'll end up with a bunch of paper. You want books. Veronica, baby! Boom. You got to try harder, girl. Okay, I'd like to put some storage down here instead of carrying all this. I don't have enough wood to make a storage. I'll stick it in this bus. 
Yeah. All right. Let's do a little reading. Let's expand our minds. You guys open? I see that you are, and it looks like they're all working on commission. I'll just wait out here until you guys come out. Okay, the guy in the suit. I was thinking Dean Martin, but uh, he was kind of a husky guy. So I'm thinking for a skinny guy like this, this has got to be Frank Sinatra. Thanks, Hunter. Oh, and Frank goes down. And this makes sense, because Frank and Joan actually hung out in real life. They were concurrent stars. Man, Frank is tough. And he was in real life, too. And Joan, I don't have any iron hangers. What do you give us? Hey, peanut butter and beans. We'll eat those beans. The peanut butter we're going to keep because you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with that later. And it's a great early game food once you figure out how to make bread. Okay, let's do some reading. Grab some cash. Nice. Athletics. Rifles and uh, padded armor. Pistols. All right, we can make uh, golden rod tea. That's that's a that's a big jump up. It's twice as uh, rehydrating as just plain water. Uh, we're not going to do uh, those. We'll sell it. A rifle and mining. We'll sell that, sell that. The farm book, we will we can now make farm plots and I think chicken coops, which is uh, going to help us maintain our food situation. Athletics and bladed weapons. Paper. 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 Uh, here's a crawler. Now the crawler, who is that going to be? Here he comes. Uh, that's gotta be Truma Capote, right? No, no, Gigi Allen. Yeah, that's Gigi, the punk rocker. Okay, we'll sell that bat. We'll read the apple juice. Come here, Gigi, there you go. Come out of the darkness. GG liked uh, pyrotechnics. Let's light them on fire. Or not. All right. Uh, peanut butter, vitamin, and uh, iron arrows, which we can't use with the crude bow, but we'll eventually get a better weapon. Paper. Paper. Okay, red tea recipe. That's great. Athletics, and we'll sell that. Check the janitor cart. General stuff. Rocks. Don't need any turds. Now this paper, uh, early on I generally sell it. For these books, I mean, that aren't used to me. Uh, later I will scrap them for yellow paper. And with that, you can make uh, new class books and such. Ah, there we go. That bow we can use for the iron arrows. Hello. Ah, Scotty Parker. And that nurse we haven't named yet. We'll figure something out. And I, my bone machete has broken. Let's quickly repair it. Please don't attack me in the back. They won't, they're too slow. If they were feral, they'd be already on top of me. So long, Dottie. You gonna bleed out? Nope. All right. 
Okay, let's drink that. Some coffee grounds. Don't need any flower seeds. Murky water. Let's bring that. And now, nah, hold. Yeah, let's bring the knife down. It's a backup. Okay, let's head in the back. I don't think there's any zombies in this room. Pretty sure. Scrap that for leather. Close that, because I know there are zombies out there. All right, let's see if we can get something to eat. Woke somebody up. Yeah, there we go. Some canned foods, like that uh, survival ration there, you can eat without any risk of dysentery. Most of the canned foods, you gotta cook them. Let's see who we got here. Carson. Let's get our stamina up. And there's Veronica right behind her. We'll take care of them one at a time. Whoa! Carson got a hit on me. That's the thing about uh, drinking while playing, though. You tend to take more chances. You can get a little sloppy. Looks like uh, Frank Sinatra has joined Veronica. And it looks like Carson gave us an infection. She seemed like such a nice girl. Thank you. All right, Frank. You're starting to get under my skin. What do we get? Okay, vitamins and painkillers. Painkillers are great. They give you 30 instant uh, points. Uh, they do dehydrate you. Okay, I just put a point into sexual Tyrannosaurus to up our stamina. Okay, somebody is beating on the fence. That looks like a young Shane McGowan. Whoa, sorry Shane. Big fan of your music. It's a dirty old town. Yeah, just junk. Let's see what we got in here. Lead. Iron. More lead. All right, we'll sell all those. I know there's a menagerie of zombies up here. Let's see if we can get up. Nope. Okay, this guy, that's gotta be Jackie Gleason in his uh, bus driver outfit, right? Looks like he's been working out a bit. Lost a little weight. Not so jolly anymore either. Uh, this guy, that's Earl Flynn. Hell of a drunkard. And he had a really uh, adventurous life. And this was before he even became a movie star. <laughs> Earl is tough. He used to uh, sneak booze onto the set by injecting vodka into uh, grapefruits and oranges. All right, Jackie, calm down. I hear a zombie. Is she coming up the ladder?
Nope, she must be inside the building somewhere. Okay, this is a drop down. I think there's uh, six, seven zombies down there, so I'm not gonna drop down. I'm going to try and put an arrow in as many sleeping zombies as I can. Let's see who we got. They're pretty well hidden. All right, there's a doctor. Uh, that box locked it. Got him. Can I? Ah, there's one. I don't know who that was, but we got him. And then it looks like a crawler. A GG Allen. Got him. Man, I'm doing work with this crude bow. All right, let's go down. We got three of them. Who we got? It is Bessie Smith, Queen of the Blues. Stop. Well, I'll let her bleed out a little bit before she spits at us. That's another thing about Darkness Falls. Uh, in the vanilla game, only the cops spit and blow up. But in this game, there's a whole bunch of them that do that. Which adds something. It's, I think it's good to give the uh, zombies some range. Some ranged weapons, as it were. Hey, there's Carson sleeping in the corner. Uh, she's almost done. Thank you, Carson. Let's repair that. Let's not make that mistake again. Hey, Bessie's coming in for encore. All right. She could blow up out here. No, it's, we can get it. Ah, oh, we got it. If you hit them uh, before they blow up and kill them, they won't blow up. Let's see what we got. Hey, better uh, stone axe. We'll switch that out. And a pipe. <laughs> we got a sleeping cowboy. That's got to be uh, Doc Holliday, right? Didn't sleep in Apache country, Doc. We can't get into that. I might beat my way into that box. It's uh, that would take forever. And we don't have any lockpicks. All right. Actually, that's a lockpicking book, so that helps us. And there are two lockpicks. Excellent. That worked out well. We'll give it a crack. Good books. Always need wood. All right, cobblestone and polymer. Get up there. Maybe we could reach down and grab those. Yeah, scrap armor schematic. Yeah, we'll sell those. Lead, scrap that. Okay, maybe there's another uh, lock picking book in here. That would make it easier. Oh. Hey, Ronnie Briggs, this is my heist. Honor among thieves, even in the zombie world, right? My bad. You know, you're, you know this isn't right. There you go. Athletics and machine guns. Okay. Let's see if we can crack into this thing. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, crap. One left. Ah. Uh, oh, crap. Just a touch down. Got it. Whoa, all right, uh, treasure map, scope, acid, armor. We'll put that scope on the pipe rifle. Read that treasure map, see where it's at. 
That is way south. Okay, we'll uh, when we get a bike or a motorcycle, we'll go down there and check that out. We'll wear that armor. We don't need no dye. You can scrap that dye for paint, but I won't be painting anything in the early stages. Well, okay. I think we've sucked all the knowledge out of this freaking so-called library slash bookstore. Let's head on home. We're infected and we're carrying a bit of weight. Veronica. Thanks, Veronica. All right, some crappy bandages. Let's grab our junk. All right, 32 encumbrance. We can make it home with that. That's a big, strong building there. That could be used as a, uh, a horde base. First horde night, day seven, when you're playing on survivalist level as I am, uh, you generally want to get on top of a strong cement building and uh, and shoot down. You don't want to actually give them a path to you because if you do, they'll just overwhelm you. And, uh, unless you've somehow luck into some really good uh, guns and uh, maybe uh, dart traps. So we'll find something like that building, clear it, uh, climb on top, put up a cage to keep the buzzards off and uh, shoot down and hope they don't destroy the building before the night's over. There's that bee. It's like uh, in Goodfellas, uh, in the last part of the movie, when Henry Hill is really paranoid about the helicopters always being overhead and that the feds are watching them. It's the same sense of paranoia because you never know when that thing is going to attack. Don't have time for you, nurse. And you're probably thinking, why don't you just use your fancy bow there and shoot that bee? Well, they juke a lot. You're just gonna waste a lot of arrows. All right, I think we lost them. Good deal. All right, lady, what you got for me? What are you looking for? What is anybody looking for? Okay, generic schematics. Those are for, uh, you need those for making mods. So I, yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we'll do can Lady I King Morgan. You? Yeah, you can trust me. You're kidding me. Who else? We'll grab some of this to make some goldenrod tea. Hey, Jen, the returning conqueror. I've finished your job. I'm sure you're really excited about that. As am I. Let's see what they got. I got some money now. I'll buy that. Oh, I should have bought the peanut butter. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. I'll bet you do. But let me tell you, the company outside, eh, they're not that great of conversationalists. Probably better being lonely. Yeah, I'm going to buy that wrench. I'm not going to hatchet those cars all friggin' night. This will speed up everything. And when I get the other wrench, I'll just stick it in the workbench when we get a workbench. Because uh, some recipes require a wrench to be in the workbench. Thanks for the business. Stay safe out there. I will. You stay safe in here. I am so smooth with the ladies. Okay, that wrench is going to open up a vast uh, array of stuff we can harvest. Let's make a wood hatch. I went to the Glock 9 School of Zombie Home Defense, so I'm going to put a hatch in the doorway here. The best part about a hatch, as opposed to a door, is you can fight over a hatch, but a door you cannot. There we go. Safe and sound. We're gonna boil up all this water. We're gonna make some tea. We're gonna cook some food. 
And then uh, we're going to spend the night scrapping everything around this trader base and hopefully get a forge put down. Because once you put a forge down, you can make uh, glass jars and forged iron. And that is the path to success in every zombie environment. Forge. All right, let's eat some baked apples. Man, I love these apples. Look at me go. All right, I'm gonna have to address this uh, infection. 10.9. A uh, jar of honey will uh, take it down 5% if it works. Doesn't always work. Seems like it works about 75% of the time. Let's give it a go. Yes. Okay, that'll take it down to like six. I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Do I have any? Uh, I don't. I might have to buy herbal. We'll see. Hey man, you gotta stay Somebody wants it. All your drunken buddies pounding the You're door welcome. at the middle of the night. Hey man, hey Frank, you got any, got any booze? You know, the bars are out. I'm like, yeah, I know, I just came from one. Okay, this guy, gotta be Orson Welles, right? We don't have any Paul Masson. Whoa, whoa, Orson, Orson. <laughs> He's gonna blow. Nope, he died right before. Okay, let's finish off this infection and put some hatches down. That'll take care of that. Boom. Okay. Hey, Orson brought us something. Eh, some soup. You must have heard I was sick. Another stranger in need? I've got what you're looking okay, for. Okay, there's somebody. Pills might there are for. freaking zombies in the wire here. Well, I see at night they run. So you gotta be a little more crafty. I'm gonna run all the way back to my hatch. Just made it. Let's see if she follows. No. Good. Didn't want to hang out with you anyway. Uh, nope. I hear her. Freaking stalker, leave me alone. We have no booze. Ow. That's assault. And there's more. Yeah, you've been here, right? Because, uh, <laughs> you know, you come home from the bars and uh, you're pretty loaded. Maybe you're going to watch a little TV before you go to bed. Maybe play a video game. And uh, suddenly there's a knock at your door. They don't text or call first because they know you'll uh, say no. And, uh, like, hey, hey, Frank, we were in the neighborhood, man. So we just thought we'd just stop in and say hi. You know, it's three in the morning. Because they know you have some booze in the house. And, uh, well, you can't say no. And I've been on both sides of that. I've been that guy as well. Although I've noticed that since I've uh, had kids, it uh, doesn't happen as often. I think people feel a little strange about, you know, maybe waking kids up to drink. That's Oliver Reed right there. I <laughs> see that. He, he was faking. Yeah, yeah. 
incontinence of a young Oliver Reed. Who's this other dude? Oh, it's Hunter Thompson. Man, Hunter Thompson and Oliver Reed. That would be a hell of a night. Good God. All done? Okay. Good night. Now, I want to put a hatch down to, def to defend this gate, but I can't while that body is still there. So we're going to wait for it to despawn. Oh, uh, I just heard somebody. Somebody's running over here. Somebody is eager. No booze, I said. Oh, it's, it's Bessie. Sorry, Bessie. Whoa. Blew her away in. She bum rushed us. All right. We're going to blow up. The will let let her blow. Go ahead. All right, I felt the same way at the end of the night. Boom, okay. Let's see if we can fight over that, as I said earlier. Who's this dude? Gotta, shouldn't mess with him. Yeah, let's mess with him, why not? Hey, buddy. Oh, <laughs> it's like yelling at somebody from your balcony. It, Three in the morning for no reason. Let's fight. E oh, hell. All right. Uh, bearded dude. Let's say Blackbeard the pirate. Hell of a rum drinker. Uh, Edward Teach, his name was, but uh, we'll call him Eddie. Whoa. Kind of screwing up the base here, buddy. While you're living at uh, Jen's place, you gotta keep the place up in repairs. I mean, I'm not gonna fix that front gate. That's just too much work, but I'm gonna keep these gates uh, in good repair. That's where I gotta find, well, don't have enough wood to repair it, but all right, whatever. Okay, I think I have enough points now to, uh, to uh, get into the forge. There you go, forge ahead. Boom. All right, we can now make a forge. We just gotta get the materials together. We can get that stuff. All right, so before the night is over, we're gonna have a forge down, which means we can make empty glass jars and forged iron, which will put us on a path to make, oh, hey, I didn't search this, to make all sorts of things. It's gonna open up many avenues. All right, that's now wood. Sand we can use to make, uh, use that to make empty glass jars. Hey, duct tape. If we're real lucky, we'll be able to make a uh, bicycle tonight as well. Okay, we're reaching the end of an hour, so I will say this is the end of the first episode. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to keep drinking because I'm one of those guys who can't just go out for a couple of drinks and, you know, go home. You probably guessed that. So I'm going to record the next episode the next day and uh, while I'm still, uh, you know, drinking. So the next episode is going to pick up where I'm at right now and we're going to drink through the next one and it's got to be getting crazier. I know, but we'll play it safe. We are playing on permadeath too. So if we die, the series is over. So we got to be in our P's and Q's, baby. All right, we will see you next episode, which will probably be put up in about two, two, three days. We'll eventually get the schedule down tight. Maybe like, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday and Thursdays, whatever. But uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, drinking is the war against death. Or at least the undead. Both, really. You think about it. See you next time. When I wake up in the morning and I reach for my bottle, gotta start the day. I got to tell out every household. Let my legs and run around and boost like some time. I'm ready for the zombie war that comes alive and die. I grab my machete. It's my weapon of choice. There's blood on the streets and I can hear their raspy voice. But I ain't scared. No, I Town. That's how the end is heading.
Stay.